This is Quarantine Cup 22. Uh, looks like my first opponent is Kimmy314. Um, so, let's see, I think. Uh, so, on this first board, uh, it looks like. This is going to be somewhat interesting, I think. Uh, so, uh, so I guess the trashing will mostly be coming from uh, Apprentice, although I think with Rogue around and the fact that they bought a candlestick for the maker, which means there's a good chance they have a two five split. Um that means a rogue would a lurker would really be nice. Um to help get some cards back. So I think I think I'll open Lurker Lurker Poucher, probably, but also do Lurker Scouting Party, but, okay, so they go for Apprentice over Rogue. Well, yeah, that's, they'll st they still might trash some nice cards that I'll want. Uh, just want to, like, leave the option open to myself. Um... Yeah, so now they go for the voucher. Uh, so let's play that. Um, so far, nothing good is in the trash. Uh, I feel like the chances that I'll be the next person to play. Well, hmm. Let's see. They don't really have they. Yeah, it would just be. Since I have player one, I just worry that, like, they could still buy a lurker this turn and take it from me, and there, I guess it wouldn't be a guaranteed for the, it wouldn't be a guaranteed success for them, but since they have player one, uh, it gives them a better chance. So I think I'll just not do anything to the lurker, um, now, I guess I'll just take uh, another poucher. Um, so, what do I want here? Probably another lurker would make sense, I think. So, I can play the poucher. Um, all right, great. So, I think uh, I'll take the apprentice to, because I'd like to also do some trashing. Um, so now, what I can do, so I can play the lurker, um, yeah, there's nothing in the trash, yeah, I think I'm just not gonna trash and take another lurker, yeah, that's what makes the most sense to me.
So, I guess I'll just outro. Um, what do I put in the trash? No, nah, nothing. That's what I thought. Um, take another lurker, I think. Uh, yeah, and now. So I can play the voucher. Um, uh, well, I kind of would like to do a rogue this turn, uh, which can also like help my lurkers. So I think I'll pass on Apprentice for now. Um, So, I guess, what do I want here? So, Pouchers are no longer that good. Um, I guess they're fine. But, there are other cards I'd prefer. Um, I think just the Sage would be nice. Uh, yeah. So I can play, uh, let's draw there, um, yeah, nothing wrong, because let's see, because I, what I can do, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll try and get another apprentice, um, my experience doing this, I usually end up trashing my apprentice to another to with an apprentice but that's like which which nice but that but, but like even when I end up doing that um it's still some nice draw and I don't really think there's anything out there that I need like I guess a merchant ship would be nice, but I don't want to, but with no villages on this board, um, doesn't make sense. Um, what's in the, nothing in the trash, so I'll just discard the lurker, take another apprentice, mostly to feed it to, mostly took it to feed it to an apprentice, but. It's still a very good card to feed to Apprentice. Oh wow, they already have... They already have some Princes. Um... Yeah, I guess... Princes, they're like, okay. Uh, yeah, I just feel like they have a lot of them. So now they're going for the second terminal here um so i'll just take an apprentice do some more apprentice stuff uh take i'll take a candlestick maker because i hope to be um yeah i hope to be like get, getting some adding some money to my deck soon uh, 
probably from like maybe if I can get the money somehow I'd like to like add a few golds that was nice I got some coppers off the track of off the top of my deck although I guess I would have been doing that with with stage um so let's see there there's nothing in the trash um well trash and apprentice uh, and then i think i'll get I th i'll get another Oh wait, did Oh yeah, I forgot that I had done that. So now I guess Um I guess I'll just teach that worker a rouse. And here's what I'll do. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Um well I'll just do this because now I've kind of set myself relying on having that and so now I can take a province myself um, Oh, yeah, they're crashing. So the apprentice pile is going down. Um, pile out sometime soon wouldn't be crazy. Like, I think it would be considerably easy to just, like, run down the candlestick maker. And the apprentice, like, that's going to go pretty fast. So we, uh, yeah, nothing's in the trash. Um, so I'll play that lurker, uh, gain it back with another lurker, and then, do I want a sage or a silver? Uh, probably a silver. I'm probably going to trash the candlestick maker and then I'll hope for a lurker. But, like, in the end, ah, uh, like, if I don't get it, like, oh well. That's, like, really just how I feel about that. Um,. So, I think, uh, yeah, hmm. yes, they got 12, um, Oh, and they have that, so they have five coffers to sell. 
theoretically they could double here uh yeah they're going for the double which makes a lot of sense for them uh i doubt i'll be able to make a comeback yeah so i'll just take a duchy here kind of need all the points i can get if i'm going to try to like if i'm going to try to double or if, I'm going, if they're going to double uh i doubt i'll be able to double uh i mean there's a chance but it's unlikely so let's see what's in the trash here candlestick maker i think what i'll do is i'll just Apprentice the poucher. Kind of like that more. Um. And now I guess I'll apprentice the rove. I'm just gonna like apprentice some cards. Uh, I'll play the sage, I think. I'm probably gonna also apprentice that poucher. And then. Maybe a few lurkers. Um, okay, so that really does suck. Uh, so I'll get back, I think. Take back a rogue for sure. Um, I'll also gain back. Probably a pouncher. I kind of want some high cost cards around. That's kind of my, one of my priorities right now. So I can, like, so I can apprentice some things. Okay, so they dud here, which is good news for me. Uh, I still have some catching up to do. Uh, they're still ahead. I think the dud is fine for them. Especially... Well, I guess I'll have at least five points here. Okay, that really sucks. So I'll just discard the apprentice and take a duchy. Um, and we'll see what happens. I doubt they're going to have another dud. Um, oh, wow, there's a lot in the trash there. Um... They're probably gonna have they probably have a lurker. Um, yeah, if they don't have a lurker, then that's some very good news for me. Yeah, they're probably going for like prince. You know, because there are just yeah, so they're going, oh yeah, I see what they're going for. Um, yep. All right, so. Okay, let's see. Looks like some people might have tables. Um, okay, so they... They're already playing someone. So, 
I guess I'm just waiting for someone to come. Oh, what are the standings looking like? Okay, so it looks like right now, um, oh, we have an issue. There's a sorting issue. Interesting. Um, it, lo it looks like our top APO is currently undefeated with two games at 10. And then I think Cyrix, Mick, and Teak Piking all have five. And then KHZ and Kimmy314 have two. And then Ammo, Electrum. Oh, Element Mario, Max Attack. All are in gray home. And me all have negative three. Um, yeah. So it looks like I'll be playing a Moffat 11 on this board. I think it's going to be uh, kind of interesting. Uh, so there's Zoons here. So that will be uh, probably the main source of points um i think what would be fun on this on this board i kind of want to print a uh, cavalry either cavalry or wandering yeah probably cavalry um yeah uh prince cavalry and then, uh, yeah, so I want to print cavalry. And then, two, and then take, yeah, and take some goons. So I think probably open silver, silver something. Um, it's unclear. Uh, there isn't great trashing on this board. Uh, yeah, so they just go for Puka. Um, which is great for trashing. Well, let's see here. No matter what, like, there's always puffins, so... The question is, at what point do I, how many purses am I willing to take here? Uh, I would kind of like a goons, uh, give them some free card hands, um, yeah, and I think I'll take a, probably a wandering mistral here, um, I think a patrician. Um, okay, so the thing here is I would like to get a Puka at some point. Uh, well, I guess it's not like absolutely necessary, but it would be nice to have. Uh, so let's see, I can play my patrician. Uh, I 
Alright, so. Got some junk off the top of my deck. I think I'll take another silver. Yeah, that sounds nice. Um. Well, the unlikely chance they do like a. Well, what do I want to do? I guess it doesn't actually matter what I discard. Um. Uh, so I can just just take a petition. Um. So I think that now is when I should gain the Puka. Uh. Yeah. Well, let's see. Mm. Oh, wait, I knew. I have two silvers. So I could take another Dunes here. Um. Yeah, I kind of like the Dunes. Yeah, so I'll take the goons here. Um. All right, so this wandering this row. Oh yeah, I am a jack deck. The goon. So yeah, so now I'm definitely taking a puka here, for sure. Um, so I can do a double goon here. Uh, what do I want to do it on? Probably Wandering Mistral. Um, yeah, that seems like the best option. Oh, but yeah, it's intense. But and since I'm just gonna take a wandering mistral, I don't need the copper. So yeah, so they are going. Yeah, so he's going for some coppers. Yeah, so he's going for using goons to get to using coppers to get some coins, which means. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that too, because he's probably planning something. Um, yeah. Do I want... I don't know, I don't think I need a Cursed Gold there. Um... It just doesn't seem more fit to me. Possible that that's a bad choice. But. Yeah, I don't really like it there. So I have four. I think I'll go with cavalry. Yeah, and play. Take some. Uh, I'll take a silver and a copper. Um, I, I kind of want to keep it. I don't really want to junk my deck too much. Uh, all right, so... So I kind of, I think I should just like, yeah, I have five action cards, but I should go with those while I can. Um, so I have a decent points lead. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts for. Probably not too long, because that's just how these things work. Um, Yeah, because I have more goons in my deck. 
I think. Um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, that's the right order. Um, so, no, I have to. Um, that order doesn't matter. Okay, I only have four action cards in play. I think I'll just go Boone's Copper. Now I think at some point I just have like a big enough points lead that it doesn't really get coppered anymore. I think I'm probably about at that point. Yeah. I'm gonna stop taking those unnecessary counters. Which is really like they get me a point, but like a point isn't very much. And like, if he gets like closer to my, if he like comes close to catching up with me, then sure, I will change, I start like taking some coppers. But for now, I don't think it's necessary. So, I can play some goons. Uh, take a wandering mistral. Well, I guess. I think what I could do is. Yeah, I think I will do coppers and get more poopas. Yeah, I'll do coppers and then get more poopas. So that. Yeah. Coppers and poopas. Those actually do work out pretty well. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. And then the coppers have the bonus of, of activate, of, yeah, of helping my poopas out. And I still have a considerably large points lead. His deck is a lot more functional than mine, I have to say. Um, like, way more functional. Um, no way, I'll take another Puka. Um, yeah, the discarding, it's fine. So, I can, yeah, um, I think I'll just take another Wandering Mistral. I feel like I kind of need more of those anyway, I guess. We could have waited. Maybe it would have made more sense to get the goons there. Yeah, that probably would have been what a smarter me would have done. But I'm not the smarter me. So I can just discard that. Um, so. 
so yeah, I can. Yeah, and of course he is already ahead of me. Um, yeah, because he just took that escape and got like seven. I got all the aqueduct points. So yeah, that does kind of suck for me that my opponent has a lot, a lot of aqueduct. So, uh, I'll take a Wandering Mistral, I think. Um, and then, of course, an, uh, a Copper. Because I, well, he's only, he's only two points ahead of me, but, like, before I had that huge points lead, which I don't have anymore. So that very, really sucks for me. Uh, hopefully I can somehow make a comeback. Oh, and there goes the last Wandering Mistral. Well, I guess there's not like there are no more villages on the board. Uh, we can still, like, I can still get some villages from goons. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so he's going for all of those. Uh, yeah, so he has that, like, that nice chain going. Uh, his deck is just better than mine in, in every way. And he has... He has a win not too far from here. Yeah, so I think yeah, those aqueduct points, those are just, they were really good for him. Uh, I'll just take a couple of states, I guess. Um, but, okay, so he duds here. Um, and takes fleet, which I think makes a lot of sense for him. Hopefully I could find a wandering mistral, or that also worked. Um, well, yeah, I'd hate to, that would be giving up, like, five points. I feel like, yeah, my, I don't think it's worth getting fleet here. Um, like, if my typical turn was better, then sure, but it's not, sadly. Yeah, that goon's really hurt. Maybe I should have, like, discarded a little differently. Um, great, nice, and I get to top deck the goons. Uh, but oh, just one goon. Like, I wish I could talk to two goons. That would be ideal. Um, but that's sadly not what's happening. Um, I'll just go Duchy Estate, I guess. Now I have a small lead on him, but very small. Um,. Wait, I wish, I wish I had, like, a quick fishing. Um, I want to get fleet here. Yeah, I don't have any. I think that's the best option without any goons around. Uh, just take a fleet. So, 
so now um So it looks like this board, it has some nice, um, it has some nice, uh, nice nothing, uh, main source of draw it looks like will be, um, masquerade and council room. You can also get some draw to X stuff with Scholar. Uh, I'm not really the best on board with draw to X. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm kind of liking the. Not too very. 
kind of like just taking, I don't want to masquerade here. Good opening, I think. You can just like an necromancer masquerade. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, so, uh, I'll just go for a masquerade. Um, yeah, and now I can uh, take a zombie spy, I think, and I'll discard the copper. Well, maybe it would have made sense to keep the copper. Yeah, I kind of, I mostly did it. Yeah, I feel like the cycling is still good. Um, so now they, they opened double masquerade, um, maybe that would work. Like, one of the things I notice on this board is the lack of villages, like, there are no villages to be specific. Uh, so I think that, yeah, I think that just won't be super helpful. Wait, whoops. Okay, so, uh, I can, oh no, spies are all one, right? I don't know, the spies are three, so. Could just take a silver, try and get some zombies. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll take another silver. So I think, yeah, I'll give him the copper. So I think we play the necromancer. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But aren't real this isn't a very good uh material board. Um let me just take another silver. So, yeah, I feel like it's kind of a pink board where you'd want to go for, like, money. Yeah, so I'll just take another silver, I think. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'll give him an estate. Uh... Yeah, so great. So I'm able to take a gold now, which is amazing. Would have liked to do it a little earlier, though. Um, yeah, I'll take a canal here. So I'll just pass him the copper. So I can do the necrom. Uh, I'll take a spy again, I think. Uh, I'll discard it. 
and then I'll just yeah like that mm. so now I'm trying to think yeah the greening that makes sense probably could have done that a little yeah if I, I probably should have done that last turn um yeah, I should have started greening a little earlier. Now, well, now I have a dud. Um, okay, so we're out of speed play. I'll trash the Kappa. Take the Duchy, I think. Yeah, so I had just started greening a turn earlier than I probably could have done better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That probably can be, yeah, I can. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a good point. So, the table, let's see. Um. Um, all right, so oh, wait, they have a table now. Mm, right. That mick, that like a mick alt or something. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm very curious about this. Mm -hmm. So, I think, I think just go on this board and get some draw from Spear. Um, does the trashing one will come from Junk Dealer? Yeah, a lot of these cards are just expensive. Uh, as for opening, yeah, lots of good buys out here. As for opening either questions, do I want to go like lurkers or silvers? Um, or both? Probably not both because one lurker isn't very useful. Um, well, yeah, I think what I do here is probably just. Two marker, but that will require them. That relies on them being lined up. So my thoughts here are just go double silver. Yeah. Oh, they forgot to turn spec chat off. Not like it matters because there currently aren't any specs, but. Only good habit to get into. Um, yeah, so I'll just take a second silver here. Let's 
so now, yeah, I'll just do a junk dealer. Um, junk dealer now, probably a charm. Uh, four here. Okay. Um, let's do watchtower. Um, uh, yeah, watchtower, like, it's nice. Let's have this terminal problem. I generally don't like draw terminals. Try to avoid them. So I think, yeah, I think just a silver. So here, so you're in something for sure. Um. Uh, thing card. So definitely a seer. Uh, wait, what does Scepter do again? Uh, I could do Scepter, I guess. Um, I'm just liking, I could just do another junk dealer. Uh, yeah. But also, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and go back and play the and just take like a seer silver. Uh, Oh, wait, did I miscount? Yes, I did. But yeah, I think just the seer lurker sounds nice. Um, especially when they don't have a lurker. Yeah, that was me miscounting. Except I don't think I would have done anything different. But yeah, I don't think I would have done anything differently had I not miscounted. Um, so now I can do a seer. Uh. That's nice. Um, thinking what you do here is you camel the lurker. Uh, and now, yeah, camel lurker. And then just go for like an animal fair silver. Yeah, I think that will work. Uh, and now I can discard the gold from exile. Guess this. I guess I'm kind of going for a money deck here. Um, I feel like money just. It just seems to me like the best option. Probably is a better one. Yeah. But anyway, I think this will work. Um, probably will take another, I think I'll do another seer. Probably also going to want another charm at some point. Yeah, take another charm for the buys. Uh... And then Sears, I can always take those. Yep. Uh, so I can play my play my Sears. Um. 
one more than you, it doesn't really matter. But now I want another charm. So... So now I think I'll play a uh, seer. Um, so yeah. Mm. I would like to like find some way to like empty a pile. I guess I'll start working on the charm pile. And I now have a bunch of gold and exile, which is amazing. Hmm. Not, not the best. I feel like it's just a lot of them. So I'll just take a gold, uh, which will add a considerable amount of money to my deck. Um, yeah. I feel like here pirate ship is somewhat appealing here. Because, yeah, they just have a lot of treasures. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm kind of liking pirate ship here. Let's see what I get with my junk dealer. Yeah, I think I'll go for a pirate ship. Um, and then take a charm, I guess. Hopefully they don't find a lurker this turn. Of course, that's kind of a lot to hope for. Okay, great. So they snagged my pirate ship. Um, which really sucks for me. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, I blame that partially on me being stupid. Because we all know I'm stupid. I don't think I should have to say that I'm stupid, everyone. I'm actually going to undo that. I'm going to try. I'm going to camel it. And then, yeah, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> that just, like, it makes more sense to me. Uh, yeah. Really should never have touched that pirate ship by a lurker. Because now it's just very sad that they have it. Um, I'll just snag those last few charms there. Um, I could do Seer now. A Seer is never really appealing. Um, yeah, this is, um, this is a money board and not as, like, last time I said it might have been money, like, this is just a true money board. I have a point fleet from the charm pile. Um, I think I'll just start greening now. Uh, we'll see how well it works out for me. Uh, probably not too well. Yep, a dud already. I already have a dud. 
and can't say it's not what I get from but I'm not gonna say I don't deserve it because then I'd be lying so um I still have a lead on them so I think I can afford to do that for a turn Um, yeah, I don't think it's, so they trashed a coffer, which is nice, that was actually helping me, um, all right, and they trashed two coppers for me. Discarded a province and a seer. In the end, the sheer trash really isn't that bad. Like, the seer isn't a very. Just, sorry, not this trash to discard. Um. It's really nice being able. I don't think I actually need a duchy. Like, yeah, it would be kind of nice, but I'd rather just. Get more money into my deck. Um, yeah, now that Seer Pyre, that was pretty smart for them. Um, I think I'll just attack them this turn. So that was very nice, getting rid of their charm. Um... I don't think I want to do a junk dealer. Yeah. I'll just do an animal fair. Um. So definitely. Uh. A province. Oh, wait, I can't. I'll just take a silver, I think. Um. Alright, so. Um. Well, I guess I won't have a win this turn. Um. Oh, wait, no, I meant to camel it. Yeah, cameling it was will be nice. Um, yeah, because this is seven points. I just go for like a duchy, but I don't actually think it's necessary. Um, like, I doubt they'll be able to province touch. I like province touch. I mean, there's a chance. Yeah, maybe I should have. Well, seeing this hand, I'm kind of glad I didn't. I'm glad I played for the long game, but yeah, playing for the short game. That would have been a better option for me, especially seeing how long this turn is. I have my death in them. Maybe I doubt them a little too much. Alright, so if they're already... Alright, so they just did a duchy and ill-gotten gates. And ill gotten gains. Um, yeah. So that means I play the seer. Great. And I have a win here.
Um, yep. Oops. Oh wait, they've already left. They're fast at table leaving. Um. All right. Wait, who have I? Um, so it looks like this next board. Uh, it, we have some, uh, lots of attacks on this board, I have to say. Um, yeah, there's Ghost Ship, Rabble, Legendary, Knife, um, Yeah, so I think here you probably want to open, open Silver Inventor. Yeah, so Silver Snippy, um, no, I don't really want, yeah, because if I'm going to have a, no matter what, I'm going to have a terminal draw here. So, I, I need to decide what I want my terminal to be. Uh, hopefully they'll be, they'll manage to get the knights down to like, okay. and neither of us are going, and if I had to guess, neither of us, yeah, I'll do an inventor. I think I'm, I, well, I need to think, plan out what terminals I'm going to want exactly. Um, because I uh, want like math, like so I can't do an yeah inventor. I feel like four coin is just a little limited. Kind of just well, I think what I'll do is I'll take an inventor and then like maybe get some mills. Yeah, I'll get some mills for the inventor. So yeah, so I can take so, so that I guess mill it allows me to get slightly more terminals, but still, I still should stay fairly limited when it comes to terminals. So I just need to plan out which terminals I'm going to want. Um. Probably just going to say, I'd say terminal wise. I guess, I think terminal wise, I'd say the terminals I'm probably willing to get are like ghost ship and then like, uh, maybe some knights. Uh, other thing to consider is let's do legendary or the greenery, but. Yeah, I kind of like to just, Ghost Ship I find is like, I know some people say Rabble is the most annoying attack in the game, but like, in my opinion, it's Ghost Ship. Like, I hate it when my, like, Rabble's annoying, but yeah, there are more annoying things. Oh yeah, Academy, which they got 
that would have been a smart idea for me to go for academy before uh first now i think academy i feel like i could just do rabble uh which would get me some draw but uh, Um, wait, and there's, uh, Arena, so I'm thinking just, I'm thinking just go with Silver. Um, probably I'm going to take an Academy here. I guess I see they have two inventors, which... Yeah, that works. Um, they're going for Smithy. Yeah, like, since you have to, since, like, there isn't, there aren't, like, like, I feel like since you have to, like, limit your terminal tier, Smithy, I, I do not like Smithy on this board. I'm actively against it. Um, So yeah, Smithy is just bad on this board. And it's not bad, but I feel like like the terminal like terminal draws on a the bit board with no villages is bad. So when you have to choose some of them, you might as well choose the ones that are also attacks or that or that also give you plus buy. I think I am going to go for a tragic hero here. But that's because it gives me plus five. And I guess it does have its effect of, I guess it could potentially turn, yeah, turning it into a treasure, I suspect will be a challenge. Um, might go for rabble. Uh, Ghost ship rabbles just if I have a rabble and a ghost ship, that's just nasty. But I think for now I'll just go for some gold. Uh yeah. I'm not reluctant to go for a second tragic hero. As that would require me to. Yeah, second travel here, like it, Tragic Hero, that would require a. Then I'd be. I thought that would just. I don't like that, because then. Yeah, the chances. Well, I guess that's really the only way they activate it, but yeah, it's gonna. It would, that would be tough. I don't like it. Um, I think I'll go, I'll play my mill here. Yeah, I do like the mill here. A lot. Um, yeah, and I, despite what I said earlier, I am going to go for Tragic Hero. I feel like a bot, like on this board, like there is a shortage of buys. So I think, I think buys, some buys would be nice. I'm also, another thing I'm tempted to go for is they have, like, when they have a lot of cards that, and I feel like if they go to get too much attack, I might, um, yeah, and I might go for, yeah, I don't really want to go for Josephine, but I might. Um, yeah, I don't love that they have a ghost ship. Well, what I can do is just be mean and take a rabble. Yeah, I kind of, um... 
much as I don't like Josephine, I was gonna like, okay, and it's Martin that comes out now, which is good. I was worried that, like, I don't really want to do anything that will, like, reveal Molly for them, because Molly is just, like, right now I do, like, almost anything to get Molly. Well, I guess had Okay, so they take Martin. Um, the next night up, it looks like, is Michael, which Michael is nice. Um, it's not really that nice of ghost ship, I have to say. They're going big on tragic heroes. Yeah, they're going to have a lot of terminals. But I guess I do have four villagers. I think I could probably afford a few more. Yeah. So they just took an academy. They just took a tragic hero. Oh, and hunting grounds. Guess that's okay. Um. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I'm thinking just a. I'm thinking just a tragic hero and a silver. Yeah. So right now my main goal here is just to get rid of their, I want to be able to somehow get rid of their ghost ship. Did they even have a ghost ship? I think so. Um... Wait, when did they take? Oh, yeah, they took it up there. Okay, I want to get rid of that nasty thing. Yeah, they used up all their villagers there. Which, well, they can get more, but I'm pretty sure they, ha they still have some terminals around. They go for yet another tragic hero, which is an interesting choice. And I got some junk off the top of their deck, which sucks, but yeah, I guess I'll live with it. I think I'll take another tragic hero since I think those are going to go. Um, yep, and this is why I hate ghost ship. I guess really I should ban it. Yeah, banning ghost ship. That would be cool. That would be a good idea.
So they are going for my first smithy. Um, yeah, like I feel like mm, wait, and they like to attack me. All right, so they they have a lot of money. Maybe despite all the things I've said I don't like what they're doing. Maybe, I guess they probably would have had a purpose in mind for doing it. Um, well, now what am I going to do? And uh, probably just, uh, I'm probably just going to try and Maybe get some inventors. I, I have seven villagers. I can't forget that. And like, despite all the things I've said against terminals so far, I shouldn't have said it. I, well, I guess I don't take them all back, but I think, I think it's really fine. Be honest. Um, I'll take another inventor here. Um, provinces I feel like might go fast. I'll just take an estate. Yeah, that estate gain. It was. Probably a mistake. Um, yeah. I guess what would the pile out be on? Yeah, they could just pile inventors. I don't, I'm not sure I want to help out with the inventor. Um, yeah. So they're going for some arena point. I'll just go for the dust those duchies. Um You know what I really should have done before is discard the inventor for arena points instead of taking an estate. That was like Probably about the stupidest thing I've ever done in Dominion. Um, maybe not literally, but among that. I've done some pretty stupid things in Dominion before. Yeah, I guess it's not as stupid as the number of times when I, when I, like, would trash, like, all my coppers and then resign. Yeah, but, yeah, um, probably shouldn't have fill in the, I shouldn't have done it zone. Um, I'll end my actions here, get some arena point, uh, take a province, of course. Um, yeah. Still gonna play the mill, but hopefully I'll get an action from it. Um... So, uh, well, I guess, um, I can, fear, I can, yeah, I think I just have to go for the province. 
Like, it's sad, but... I'm not sure what else to do. I think the real answer is, I'll probably lose this game. That's just the honest answer. Yeah, because they can just rob him. Doubt I'll, I doubt I'll win. Um, I'm not sure it's like resigning. Well, like as bad as like resigning yet, but um, yeah. Yeah, game is gold. So nice, I got rid of their gold. Um, I don't love that I started a province for them, but that's like, eh, whatever. Like, oh well. So, what should I top deck? Well, I think we can just top deck. Um, silver mill, I think. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Except a good chance they have a win here. Um, yeah. So... Um, yeah, I think... Well, I kind of need a duchy here. There isn't really much else to do on this floor. Um, I need duchies and I need a lot of them. Yep. Um. Just create a table. Uh, so let's look at the scores. It looks like Spirix uh, is in the lead with 32 points. Uh, and, uh, Capo at 30, Teak Python at, at 25, and then KHC has 16, that looks like, and then Nick at 13. 
Um, it looks like this next board, it, it does have some nice, uh, well, the main source of draw, of course, I think will be from, uh, Tormentor, uh, which, on 5-2, five 5-2 two. Five two is much better on this board, um, yeah. But I don't have 5-2, so I think, well, I actually do, I'm, oh wait, I guess there's Baker, so, thinking open just Silver Tormentor, Does Tormentor will really be the main source of, the main source of, of draw, the imps, uh, So I can play a Tormentor. Um, now probably, probably just a Baker. I guess it would be nice to have a guide around. So we'll just, we'll see what happens, um, yeah, so he opened, um, wait, so yeah, he didn't take the Tormentor until turn three, so, actually, today, I don't actually know what pronouns they use, um, yeah, so they go for ill-gotten gates, and to ban that. Um, really should ban Elgotten Gate. It just, well, it's fine. Like, I usually just ignore it. Um, but, like, there isn't really any, well, I guess there is Recession, Recession, or, but, yeah. I'm thinking just uh thinking just another baker. Yeah. So I'll play another baker. I'll play a baker. Um I think some more bakers. I guess fakers are really just like basically peddlers, but they're still good. I still like them. So, guy. Yeah, um, now, kind of like a throne room. I don't think there's any need to call guide here. Yes, like, this is the sad hand. But I'll live with it. Is the truth. Um... I guess the other thing to consider is at what point do I just like start provincing? Uh yeah, I'll play the tormentor. 
to them. Okay, so that was nice. They got some misery on. Yeah, I guess I had a pouch here. That would be nice. Um, I guess that. Wait, did I already take a blue moon? Okay, yeah, I already took that. I think a bakery. Yeah, of course. This is a very sad hand. All my cards show up when I don't want them. I'm calling guide here. Um. So. Yeah, you know, this timing of Tormentor, it isn't great, but it will work. At some point, I'm going to want to just, like, start greening and have, like, a huge green turn. Um, at least that's my goal. Um... I have some imps here. Yeah, I'll take another throne room. So this is nice. I could probably should do a bandit camp at some point. Um yeah. Bandit camp would be nice. So, um, I can throw in the imp, um, play a tormentor, uh, I guess mostly for the money, if nothing else. Um, great, I have the baker around, so I'll throw in an imp again. Yeah, not very much use. And not like that's surprising to me. Um, I think I'll just go for the single bandit camp. I kind of want to save my coffers for like maybe. Maybe saving up my coffers like that isn't the best plan. Um. Yeah. Maybe it might not be the best plan. So, yeah. I guess I'll just go with the silver. I know I was going to, like, save my coffers and then, like, start. But like this board it's able like like with tormentors it's able to do like more than I thought it would originally. Uh yeah, that's just the thing. Like I always just forget about something that makes it like a nice board. Because that's always how things work.
So Yeah, um they finally start going for bandit camp. Um Yep, I can keep her on the tormentor. Um, so here, um, yeah, I have a good amount of coffers. Uh, Just use of nine coffers and start cleaning. Um, I put, um, I kind of like a road network plan. Like people say no road network is bad. But yeah, I think I'll do that. Um. So this way they just have a downside uh, when it comes to start to starting to green, especially because they're now diluted. So I'll still have to, like, I've lost a lot of coffers from doing that. Uh, I think it was worth it, for sure. Um, but I'll just have to uh, see if I can just, just my, keep my deck good like it is. Like, I'll have to hope the green doesn't just destroy my deck or anything. So they also go for road network, which makes sense for them now that I'm greening. Uh, so I think I'll go for province now. Um, greening does have its downside with road network. So now, like, I already have two, I already have two provinces, and they have zero, and, um, well, we'll see how this all works. Yeah. So, uh, and so yeah, that does, uh, I'll just take a courtyard, I think. Um, yeah. Questions, do I want to throne the, well, I want to throne the imp here, or I guess imp the throne. Probably thrown the imp. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll thrown the imp. Yeah, I, I like that one. I like that more. Just for the draw. So, we'll see how... This works. Alright, so they... They have...
All right, so they're still building. Oh wait, no, did they take a? Oh yeah, they took a province last turn. Okay, yeah. I thought they did it at some point. Um, only the baker, I think. Yeah, I can. Probably I'm trying to think. I hate to play the spoils and only really use one coin from it. Yeah, I'm I'd rather just use some coffers. Of course spoils do have the downside that I have to draw them somehow. But I think I still like it more. Um, so now they're going to have, like, a hard time winning, so I think, yeah, I think I feel like, I feel like I'm ahead here. Um, we'll see what ends up happening. So they just go for another ill-gotten gates. Um, but so yeah. They are junking my deck a little. Um, I'll top deck the throne room. Um, I think I have a big enough lead on them that I don't need to use those coffers. I think I'll just take a throne room. And, yeah, like... My lead is pretty large. Um, it's not really like, yeah, like if I have it, of course, like I'd like to make it bigger and I'll have to run it down at some point. But I think I can afford I'll to take a little time to build and try not to get it too junked. I guess I should say too green. So they, they have some, and they, uh, are they gonna like try doing that like whole film gotten gains thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they just go for a province, so that means yeah, if I if I need to I'll use coffers here, but I think here I do kind of need to be able to do it, um, I'll play the spoils and then take a province. Yeah, so hopefully they'll take a province, even though I doubt they will. Because if they take a province, I have a guaranteed win next turn. Yeah, so they're doing... What is it? Yeah, so that annexed, that was probably good for them. Um, like I said, I probably, there's a good chance that I have a win next. Yeah, because now 
I'll have a Windex turn, and there isn't really any. Well, the only it would be, yeah, I don't think their deck is capable of preventing me from winning. Because my lead is just, I have a 14 point lead. So, getting rid of that, I think, would be hard. Um, mm, oh, wait, they already left. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.